What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, I'm going to talk about how much money can you really make, like actually, practically, how much money can you make with dropshipping on Shopify. I want to talk about what the margins really look like, sort of the average amount of money that someone who decently knows what they're doing online tends to make, and show you how I sort of come at this a little bit differently than the typical online e-commerce entrepreneur and the way that I view things and the immense value that Shopify dropshipping brings you not just money wise. So I've actually prepared a quick presentation on my computer for you guys. I'm gonna pull this up and we're gonna get into the video. So let's talk about this real quick. How much money can you really make with dropshipping? We see so many people that show, maybe share their screenshots or maybe share their numbers on YouTube or maybe on another platform, maybe you follow some blogs or you follow some influencers who teach on the topic of dropshipping and they very much popularized the concept of AliExpress dropshipping with Shopify. Uh, but to clarify, you see the screenshot right here, I pulled this from another um, educator on this topic, right? And I'm not, I'm not dissing them, right? But this, in reality, could be a thousand bucks in their pocket, right? The thing is, they could have spent however much money on getting this number, right? They could have spent $128,000 on ad spend and gotten a thousand dollars back in profit, right? So profit equals revenue minus your expenses. So when we keep this in mind and when we understand that profit or, or revenue isn't always profit and it sort of it sort, it sort of clarifies exactly what we're looking for in terms of how much money can you actually make with Shopify because so many people will flare their numbers but not really bring any home right not really take any of that money and actually put it back in their pocket a lot of people and it's actually it's it's a total it's a total personal brand business model you know to to flare your numbers so that people think you're doing well so that you can then sell them on an info product teaching them how to do well on your platform Right, my dad forever ago, he wrote this uh, blog post. It said how to make a million bucks online, and it said, you know, spend ten thousand bucks making a thousand dollars, and then show your audience that thousand dollar check and teach them how to make that thousand bucks. Right, that's how you make a million dollars online. Really, really easy to do, and a lot of people do that. So be very, very weary of people trying to scam you or trying to sort of, uh, 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 sort of flex their numbers or flex their car or whatever, you know, be very, very weary of those types of people. But moving on, so let's talk about some of the expenses that come with dropshipping, right? We have ad spend, right? We have product cost, virtual assistance if you hire any like I do, and I actually teach you guys how to do that. Really, really good thing to do for your Shopify store to automate, 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 automate things, automize, I don't know. Shopify fees, obviously not that expensive. Refunds, that's a huge one that nobody talks about, right? Lots of dropshippers have to deal with refunds because, and primarily because of shipping times. Um, etc. There's all kinds of dropshipping expenses. And this adds up very, very quickly. So it's not just ad spend, you guys. It's refunds, too. It's, it's, it's product cost. It's, you know, team members. It's Shopify's fees, right? If Shopify realizes that you're dropshipping, they actually hold a piece of your revenue so that you can have a piece of revenue floated for the sake of refunds. So they hold like 20%. My Shopify stores right now, 20% of their revenue stays at Shopify. I don't get paid for it because of how many refunds I have to give out. And I guarantee you that's the exact same for just about every single dropshipping store out there. That's just the reality, right? So be ready for that. Be, be willing to put up with that. I'm going to quit out of this. It keeps it popping up. Next one though. However, a store that brings in real profit is completely and totally possible. I'm not saying that dropshipping is not a wonderful business model for beginners or intermediate e-commerce experts, right? But some of the things that you do have to understand in order to make that happen, you have to understand paid advertising, understand building a brand, have experience outsourcing, be willing to build momentum, right? And I talk about that in another video where I say 90, the reason 90% of newbie Shopify dropshippers don't make any money is because they're not willing to build that momentum, right? Uh, you offer evergreen products, which means your products aren't on a trend. They are products that will last a long time, right? Partnerships with gatekeepers, not just influencers, but people who have a lot of say in the market partnerships with them is really, really good. Blue Ocean versus Red Ocean, if you don't understand this concept, look it up. Blue Ocean is, is tapping into your own market and creating a market for yourself, whereas Red Ocean is tapping into a market that's already full. Both can make a lot of money, but there's different strategies for both. A willingness and an ability to experiment and not just go off of what everybody teaches you, like myself. A lot of people look at my content, have gone through my course, and have gone through the stuff that I give out on Shopify Dropshipping. There's plenty of successful people that have copied and emulated what I've done. But the, the truly successful ones are the ones who take what I teach and take what I've given, run with it, and do something different with it. So they're willing to experiment, 
right? They work with reputable, reputable suppliers. So they don't, you know, skimp out on their suppliers because that's so, so important. They build a team, you know, etc. There are so many elements involved in actually creating a profitable store online. A profitable Shopify dropshipping store online is a real feat, right? They are rare. Uh, a lot of people, you know, will flash numbers and, you know, they're only taking home 20% of that. Uh, you know, my whole thing is I want to give you as much profit into your pocket at the end of the day. I had an interview with a buddy of mine, The Real Zaki, right? He, this, this, this kid is incredible. He's, he's supposedly, according to an article he was in, taking home 60 to 80 grand every month, um, probably revenue. But he talks about profit versus revenue a lot. He says, you know, profit is what I really care about. I care about money actually ending up in my pocket. I don't care about a fancy Shopify screenshot, right? Which is what a lot of people tend to care about right now, which is a really sad reality. Um, and so let me say this, completely blatant and true. It is not long-term. I wouldn't want to rely on it long-term. It's not something that I do long-term. It's something that I see going away in the next two years as a popular business. I think it's still going to be around. Dropshipping is always going to be around, right? But the way that we're doing it now won't always be around. Dropshipping has been around since manufacturing has been around, right? Back in the early, you know, 30s, 20s, in the industrial age, right? There were drop shippers, but their job was to go door to door and sell products and then call back to the manufacturer and say, hey, we sold one, here's the address, here's their, here's their payment, here's the product they wanted, and the manufacturer ships it to their house. You know, that's been around, right? Uh, Dropshipping has always been around, but um, the way we're doing it now is not long term. But let's talk about the long-term benefits of dropshipping because there are some long-term benefits. The business model itself may not be around long-term, but the long-term benefits of the way that we're doing dropshipping now, which by the way is you know Shopify, Oberlo, AliExpress, using influencers, running Facebook ads, that whole sort of trend that we're tapping into here and that I've tapped into as a YouTube uh, whatever. Um, it's the only way that I know that I have ever met and I've been in e-commerce my whole life, right? I've grown up, my dad was fired from Microsoft when he was, when I was like, you know, five or six years old, and I watched him flip clothing on eBay and build a business, and so I understand e-commerce very, very well. You know, I've, I've done it myself pretty much my whole life, so I get it. It's the only beginner business model that I know where you can get paid to learn about e-commerce and learn skills that are invaluable uh, as your future, uh, as, as in your future as an entrepreneur, right? I, I could have just read off the screen. I don't know why I had to invent words myself, but it's, it's, it's a really wonderful way to get experience and to learn and to make money while you do it. There's just no other ways out there that I've seen where you can actually make decent money and learn a whole lot about a very simple and fun business model, right? It's super, and so some, some of the benefits, for example, are if you want to start a social media marketing agency, you go to your clients and you say, hey, I'm running this store and it's bringing in 20 grand a month revenue because of the things that I'm going to teach you guys and, and do for you guys, right? Like that's an incredible asset. So that's, a, that's an, a, a sort of an escape route or if you want to say a leverage point that you can use. Understanding e-commerce as a whole is super, super good because you understand how to partner with other businesses that have maybe a physical product and work it for them like I've done before, right? If you understand back-end email marketing, you can create email marketing funnels for the rest of your entrepreneurial career and understand email marketing funnels. You know, there's, there's influencer marketing, you'll understand influencer marketing, you'll understand Facebook ads, you'll understand so many elements that go into being a successful online or offline entrepreneur and that is an incredible resource that everybody should have uh, but moving on long term the things that you know equal the money that you make right that's the reality that we live in it's the things I, i'd add another one to it's the things that you know and the people that you know that that turn into the money that you make right the people you surround yourself is really really important you can't do this alone i wish i'd added another person there uh but with that being said you know i'm not trying to get too too big picture in this video i'm trying to stick primarily just to Shopify dropshipping, but it's the things that you know that turn into money long-term. And so name another way, uh, tell me one other way where you can get online, make money within like a week, you're making good money and you are scaling a store and learning more than you could ever learn. Say maybe with a, I would go so far as to say with a business college degree because of the things that you learn running a actual business online, you learn so, so much because you're doing all the work yourself, right? In order to get your first sale with a Shopify store, the things that you have to have done before that point are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars in your lifetime because of the experience that it brings you. So I'm fully, fully convinced that, you know, let's say someone maybe goes through a course Right? They spend, let's say they spend $3,000 on education on this topic and they only make 100 bucks on the Shopify store. 
Well, short term, you know, in, in the micro, that's a really bad investment. But in the macro, you look at this thing from a you know, 10,000 foot view, like I like to say, that's an incredible investment because of the things that you know now, the things that you've learned and the things that you can apply to the market in other creative ways, right? At, at our core, entrepreneurs are just problem solvers. And so now you have a toolkit that you can solve incredible problems with. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense to you guys. So how much money can you really make with drop shipping? I'm gonna end this video with way, way more than you think. Way more than you think. Uh, sort of a little bit of plot twist there, right? I sort of led the video up like, hey, you can't make that much money, it's not really that. Reality is, drop shipping as we're doing it now. Shopify, Oberlo, AliExpress, I really feel like Shopify doesn't like it as much as we think it does and may not let us do it much long term. There's other platforms like WooCommerce or whatever, uh, but big picture, drop shipping will always be around. Just the way that we're doing it now may not last, but what will last are the skills that we learn and the ways that we can apply them to the marketplace that will always last. And there will always be leaders, people like myself, people like these other educators, showing you ways to take the skills that you have and apply them and make money doing them. There will always be people in that position that you can listen to and learn from. And as Shopify changes, as dropshipping changes, you can, you can rely on me to keep you guys completely informed with where it's headed and if it's still a good idea to tap into, whatever, you know? So how much money can you really make? Way more, way more than anybody says you can. So let me end the video with this. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about entrepreneurship and what it means in the world that it plays sort of in the world. And this is a big, bit of a big picture thing. Drop shipping is a single business model. It is a tiny, tiny little business model. It's a tiny piece of the e-commerce pie, right? If you've made a hundred bucks on Shopify, however, so let me say this, however, if you've made a hundred bucks on Shopify, if you made a hundred bucks drop shipping, you are ahead of 99% of the world's population. You are set apart. In my eyes, you're set apart. And in a lot of the eyes of the, these internet entrepreneurs, you're set apart from literally the rest of the freaking world because we are so ahead of the bell curve right now. And we're so ahead of what people typically think business looks like that we are in a position to do just insane things. So I highly encourage you to give yourself a budget to learn, right? Like time budget, money budget to just soak this stuff up and apply it right and really dive into this stuff because it is just so key that people are learning how to execute on these ideas facebook let me say this let me say one one thing that you learn with dropshipping is facebook ads and facebook advertising is the future of advertising if you understand how to create a facebook ad funnel that converts where you just put a dollar in and two weeks later you have three out the other end that's a beautiful thing that really nobody knows how to do. And if you can create that and you create those money machines, not only is that money in your pocket, but that's leverage for you to do incredible things later down the line, right? You can land any job you wanted to in marketing if you show that on your resume. You know what I'm saying? And I hate to go back to being able to land a job with these things because my goal is to never have to do that. But with that being said, you know, if, if you're putting a thousand bucks in and getting 2000 back out on Facebook ads, you show that to your interviewee and it's just like, dude, welcome to the company, you know? Um, but anyway, hope that makes sense. Hope you guys learned something in this video and I hope I sort of shared a perspective that you may not have heard quite yet on this topic. I feel like it's a very unique perspective that I haven't heard before. So many people are focused on the money that they make in the short term. My focus on the money that you can make 10 years from now because of how ahead of the freaking bell curve we are. It's insane. So with that being said, I appreciate each and every single one of the views that I've been getting recently. The channel is going really, really well. The course is out. Link is in the description. If you have any questions on Shopify dropshipping, I pretty much answer them in this course and I walk you through setting up a store, running ads, and actually bringing in profit. Highly recommend that you check that out if you're interested at all in this business model because it's just an incredible one to get started with. And I've seen lots of people start with this and go on to do incredible things. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.